hi sweeties how are you doing welcome to naya sim if this is your first time of coming across this channel sweetheart kindly smash the subscribe button turn on the notification so you get notified each time i upload and please give this video a thumb up i appreciate you all and i want to say a very big thank you to every one of you for always coming back to watch my videos and subscribing you all are super awesome i appreciate all your support so today we'll be talking about something that i really found very interesting and it's all going viral all over tiktok and i was like i am bringing it here so we all can talk about it and it's about a white woman who really got put in her place by a black man why because she was talking so many nasty things about mexican and the black man like you know came and uh, like protected like you know the mexican and you know what stay there are so many stitches to this video stay glued to the screen let me roll this clip and we'll come back to talk about it and let me know what you all think in the comment section so straight up let's let me roll the clip she was talking shit about mexicans so and he got pissed off governor abbott's desk and has been signed by governor abbott uh basically the anti-sanctuary city bill has been passed and is now law and what that bill says is that if local law enforcement or state police uh, view a criminal activity afoot they stop they make a stop on that state crime and then they can inquire into the status of an individual's residence are they uh, a lawful u.s citizen are they here with a green card are they a permanent resident alien or are they here illegally without documentation? And if they are here illegally without that documentation, then the feds can get involved and then they can take it from there. I think this is a fantastic law. It is time to start enforcing the laws that are on the books instead of the state and local officials legislating from their own little tiny offices. It's an awful law because it's nothing more than a legal way for law enforcement to racially profile Mexicans and Hispanics. This law was written into existence by Governor Abbott to specifically go after a said group of demographics here in the state of Texas. Secondly, it is awful that we want to call them illegal immigrants to the point to where if a cop does not do his job according to this law, he can be charged and arrested and the cities can be given a $25,000 fine per day. Well, we'll put a cop in jail for not asking about his immigrant status, but we won't put cops in jail for shooting and killing unarmed black people. That's not true. And Thirdly, that's way, way I think too it's far of a step. Murder is him. against the law. Quantum. Yeah, but it's not against the law when you kill black people and you're a cop. See, the problem in America and in the state is... What about is, the Dallas case where that cop was just because charged Because there was murder. video to show he was absolutely lying. So you can't lying. make these broad statements. No, it's just because simply often, not true. often there's video, ma'am, where we are killed by cops and nobody ever goes to jail. Ask Eric Garner family that. Ask the family right there in Baton Rouge, Louisiana, Brother Alton Sterling's family. But your They're not getting not justice. Correct, so video don't mean nothing for us. Your but let's get back to correct. the immigrants. I would say to the Hispanic and Mexican community, what you got to do now, hook up with the black community and unite in political power because if Mexicans and black people unite in Texas, we can control the governor. We can control the lieutenant governor, and we can control politics and Texas, period. I'm saying to the Latino brothers and sisters, don't fight them by yourself. If you hook up with black people and we unite, I'm telling you, we can run Texas and then pass laws to deal with those who hate us. You're advocating for criminal activity, Quanell. These people are not here lawfully. They need to do what our ancestors did, what many Mexicans have done. No, 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 what no, many, no, no, no. Wait what a minute. Many, many, don't interrupt Your me. Your ancestors I, came here legally. What nothing legal about your ancestors. Listen. They came illegally and they murdered, they raped, they pillaged a whole race of people. This country, Texas, Arizona, California belongs okay. to Mexicans. Well, no. get back it was to the stole point. from get, them. You so tell when me you to get back your to the ancestors, point. They came no, 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 no. You're not being fair to me here. You say stay on topic. I say, okay, we'll stay on topic. And then as soon as we start talking about <laughs> illegal immigration, you go back to, to the black issue. Let's stay on topic. Your ancestors are me, the master illegal immigrants. Give me the opportunity to respond in that, you know what? We're all Americans here. And if you are here legally, absolutely. Then we need to come together and we need to pass good laws for enforcing the law. Well, perhaps okay. the Native Americans should have passed and laws against your ancestors. When I heard your ancestors, I was like, Whoa, oh, where did they start saying <laughs> my ancestors? Okay, you know what? Let me roll the stitches and see what people are saying about this. All right, let's get into it. He was talking shit about Mexicans so and he got pissed been. off. One thing that black parents will always teach their kids, if little Billy is calling 
Luan, uh, Brown, whatever, because of his ethnicity, when he's not around, then I promise you, when you're not around, he's calling you the N-word. I don't think a lot of other non-black POC's parents teach them this. I don't think they know. I really believe that they feel like they are accepted by white supremacists, and they're not. Like, the stuff they say about you when you're not around will literally make you want to hurt something. <laughs> like, I don't think y'all know how bad it truly is. I'll never forget, case in point, there was a plumber that had came to our house because our drains needed snaking. Um, because in his words, this is how I knew he was a racist. Because in his words, there was a lot of weed that was clogging up the drains. Because black women don't have hair and black women apparently don't wash our own hair. We just wash weed, which is dumb. Because side note, a lot of black women have a lot of hair, a lot of thick, long hair. It's just, we cover it up so it won't break. We cover it up so it will grow. We cover it up because it's a thing called protective styling. But that's neither here nor there. But um, once he was leaving, um, the news was on in our den area. And he stopped to watch. It was like a story about immigration. It was like during the time where it was like a big thing happening. And it was along the time of building the wall, if you understand. And the stuff that came out of his mouth about Hispanic people, literally made me sick and i tried to challenge him because he was looking like i was supposed to agree because another thing a lot of pocs and some black folks some black folks do is they're like oh because huh, it makes them feel like you know everybody has to look down on somebody else i don't buy into that because like i said my mom taught me if you're talking about them with me oh you talking about me with them and so I asked him a simple question. I forgot what it was. It was either a legal question or a question based on history. And he looked at me like I was speaking Latin. And then I realized, oh, you're dumb. Okay, bet. So I just was like, let me get him on about out this house. But I just, it just boggles my mind because even black conservatives, I've even heard them say, I know they're probably calling us names when we leave the room, but I still feel how I feel, which is dumb. But hey, people have the right to be dumb. Um, but I just really want to tell all POCs that are watching this that are not black, baby, if little Bobby is calling me an N-word when I'm not around, he's calling you your word too when you're not there. Lawfully, they need to do what our ancestors did, what many Mexicans have done. Well, no, no, what I just woke up and I look like shit, but I can't even too much take it. Our? Did she say our? Y'all, did she say our ancestors? You know what? I agree. I think we need, I agree. I think we need to steal the country right back. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. We need to do exactly what your ancestors did. You're absolutely, she said our, this bitch said our. <laughs> what our ancestors did. I can't, the, it's the caudacity for me. Our, our, you mean genocide? You mean genocide, theft, rape? You mean that stuff? Is that what you're talking about when you say what our ancestors did? She made it seem like they uh, came over here and was like, hey, can we just, hey, can we just, you know, take this country? And the Mexicans <laughs> were like, yeah, no, absolutely, for sure. Our? It's the hour for me. I can't get over it. This bitch said our. What our ancestors did. And then he came out and was like, mm, no, I don't know what you're talking about. She was like, oh, no, let's get back on topic. Oh, now you want to be back on topic. Now you want to get back on topic. When you was straight up trying to disrespect an entire culture. Okay. He was talking shit about Mexicans so and he got pissed off. Governor Abbott's desk and has the audacity of this country to question the citizenship of our Mexican and Latino people as if the Mexican American war didn't happen. And as if America didn't unrightfully take land that belonged to Mexico in that treaty. This country loves to turn a blind eye to history that actually took place, but the Mexican American war was only ever started because America decided to pick a fight with Mexico over land that did not belong to America. It belonged to Mexico. Fast forward to 2023, and now America has the audacity to want to build a wall to keep our brown people out of this country as if they don't have a birthright to be here. 
To add insult to injury, there was a whole treaty that was signed at the end of the Mexican-American War in which America promised to honor the Mexican people that were still in this country, and they never did. Make it make sense. She was talking shit about Mexicans, so and he got pissed off. Governor Abbott's desk and so, remember that time back during, uh, what was it, World War II? Um, when we took and, uh, in this country, anybody that looked Asian got rounded up and put in camps, whether they were born here, had been there their entire lives, you know, um, all because they looked Asian. That's the same fucking shit. So, yeah, let's detain people because of the color of their skin. That's a great fucking plan. Because I'm here to tell you, it's requesting documentation that they are from here because of the color of their skin, that's bullshit. So you mean to tell me that if a cop decides that I look just a little too Hispanic that day, that I better have my fucking birth certificate on me? Or my social security card? Like, that's the level of stupidity that this is. Uh, this country is fucked. So this is all I was able to like. That's this is all for the stitches, and uh, I absolutely want to read your comment. What do you think? Do you think the white man like really did a great job for me? I think he really came through for not just he actually came through for Mexican, Hispanic, and the rest of Latinos like. He did a great job. Thank you all so much for all the support. See you all in my next video and bye for now.